Hi guys, so today I want to do a video on Durbuster. Durbuster is an information gathering application that allows you to index pages on a website which are not normally crawled by Google or other search engines. When search engines visit a website to index it, they will detect links on each page. By visiting the links and doing the same on each of those pages, they can build a map of the site. You can do the same with Burp Suite and Kali, though it's not what I'll be covering in this video. When pen testing websites, you'd probably want to check each page for vulnerabilities or to see if it contains useful information. While you could create a sitemap just like Google does and go from there, there may be other pages on the website which just aren't linked to so they won't show up. It's important to check for these hidden pages as developers are often lazy. They might have a page up somewhere where they're testing new features or storing backups of the main site, in which case those pages are much more likely to contain vulnerabilities than the main site. Durbuster will scour a website for unindexed resources using a word list of common file names, hopefully discovering files that may be of interest. So I'm going to be using the stock Kali VM downloaded from Offensive Security. So to find Durbuster, you're going to want to go to Applications and then Web Application Analysis and then uh, Web Crawlers and go to Durbuster. And then it opens up. So this is a GUI based tool. So for the target URL, I'm going to be using something local. So if I can paste that in. Though you, I was going to demonstrate this on an actual website, but it didn't work out great. So remember to add the HTTP or HTTPS, depending on whether you're using SSL. And remember to add the port 80 for HTTP and 443 for HTTPS. Okay, so we're going to want to click go faster. So it will just execute in a fraction of the time as it normally would. And then it's going to ask whether we want to do a list-based brute force or a pure brute force. So we're going to do list-based because it just takes um, a lot less time compared to pure brute force. So we're going to go to browse. And this is going to be the same location if you're using uh, the Kali, um, a Kali VM like I am. So I'm going to go to the root directory, go to user, share, and then find Durbuster here somewhere. There we are. Go to word lists. So then it will give you a selection of word lists. They, they're very in um, extensivity. Is that a word? I don't know. But anyway, uh, but they all essentially contain a load of common file and folder names. Though um, I'm going to choose this one because it's the smallest one. So it will be quicker. So let's do that. And next it's going to ask you a, a few things. So firstly, there's brute force directories. So that's going to look for files as well as directories. So we're going to keep these two. Uh, selected, then there's be recursive. So what that means is that when it finds a new folder, it's going to look within that folder for other folders and other files. So this is great, but it does increase time taken to do your scan. So I'm going to deselect that and use blank extension. I want to keep that deselected. Directory to start with, uh, I'm going to leave that as the root directory, though if you only want to scan a certain part of the website, you can change that. File extensions, I'm just going to do uh, PHP here. Though you can add other common extensions like HTML, uh, .txt, .old, because some people do use that. Uh, so yeah, I'll just click start and I'll come back when it's done because it could take some time. So now the scan has completed and it's spit out a load of stuff here. So for some context, let's look at the site I was actually scanning. It simply says less site. So if Google were to visit this site, they would see that there's no links on the page. So we'll just leave it as it is. This is the only page on the website. However, if we look at the results of the scan, you can see a lot more interesting stuff has actually been churned out. So here we have the index.php file, which was which is the main um, file for the website. So we were just looking at that a second ago. It's the main landing page. And we've got a few other uninteresting things which has been, have been discovered. So there's image and icons. But then if we look down a little more, there's backup. So this might be an interesting folder to look at. It could contain uh, backups for the website. Maybe some of those backups are still linked to the database. So that's an, uh, a good entry point possibly into the system. What you have to keep in mind, however, is that uh, the response code to these, some of them you get 403s. So a 403 response code um, is when the website in question took too long to respond. So it just put it in this results list anyway, but just bear in mind that file or folder may not actually exist. However, if you get a 200 response code, that means that file or folder was successfully accessed and so it does exist. So if we look further down here, you can see you've got a dashboard folder. So that could be uh, interesting to look at. There's a few more 403s. Um, what else is there here? Old index. So 
that's something that um, obviously is no longer in use, but it could be still connected to the database. So that could be a good entry point. So that's the general gist of Durbust. It helps you with information gathering and finding files and folders which aren't generally indexed by search engines. So yeah, if you like this video, remember to like it. If you haven't subscribed already, remember to do that. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comment section down below. Follow me on Twitter, I'm at Satonic, and stay tuned for more hacking videos.